Hey guys, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today I wanted to kind of do a little bit of coal talk. Um, I wanted to talk about how to buy coal, or at least my experience with it. So, where do you find coal and all that kind of stuff? And a lot of this is going to really depend on probably your area. So, uh, where I'm at is in southern Ohio, and I'm right on the, uh, like, Kentucky, West Virginia, and Ohio border. So there, it's coal industry around here, or at least has been extremely big. It's still a lot of the industry, but uh, so it's not it's not real hard to find places you know that have coal. But um, other areas may be a lot more difficult. So I'll just kind of tell you too my experience with with my area. But uh, pretty much, uh, I found a a gravel yard that sells coal and we were just kind of searching around and we did run we we ended up knowing somebody that you know had, had driven past the gravel yard and seen that they had coal for sale and so i would kind of assume that's with a lot of other gravel yards and stuff too if they're if they're into selling types of of uh, you know aggregate stone whatever then they might possibly sell coal too or maybe places that sell firewood maybe they would dabble in and in, in doing both or something but uh, for us, it was where they sold gravel and they they sold coal. And I called them up and uh, asked them about coal for wood burning stoves or for coal boilers, which is what ours actually is. And they said, "Yeah, sure, we've got block coal." And I was like, "Okay, well, I guess that's what I need because I I didn't know. I was inexperienced with it, had no idea." So. What we ended up asking for, or, or uh, they tell us that we needed, was block coal. And I guess a lot of stoves are different, but most stoves uh, will take a, a little larger coal because if you get it too fine, it falls through the grates in the bottom. So anyways, block coal is what we ended up with. and um, But in the process of finding the coal at the gravel yard, we also found coal uh, at a coal terminal. I happened to be driving by and was like, I wonder if I can buy coal straight from them. And, you know, the coal terminal is where, you know, all the coal trucks and all the, you know, all that stuff go and, and dump their coal from the mines and stuff. And then, then they sell it, I guess, like to the electric companies and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I was driving by there and, you know, I thought, well, I'm going to, see about stopping in there and buying it from them and i it was kind of a big deal and i, I kind of tell you the differences like the gravel yard was pretty easy like i just told him i needed coal i pulled in there and like said hey I, i'm here to buy some coal he said hey you want me to load you up or do you want to load it yourself and i was like well i don't have anything to load it with you you load it so he got his machine, went over there and dumped some in my truck. We waited out and I paid him and I was on my way. Super easy to deal with. The experience with going to the coal terminal was quite a bit different though because I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to talk to. didn't know where there was an office or anything like that. And so I pull in there where all the trucks and stuff are going and I have to go across the uh, the scale and all that stuff. and. I thought, well, there's probably somebody in the scale house, you know, that I could talk to and find out where to go. Pulled up there on the scale to the window. Nobody was there. Like, And I was like, man, what, what am I supposed to do? There's coal trucks pulling in behind me, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, well, I can't keep sitting here. I got to go. So I pulled on up and I ended up finding a person outside there that was working and asked him about it. He told me where to go to and who to talk to and all that kind of stuff. And... They told me I didn't have any coal right then, but they probably would like the next morning or something. So anyways, uh, long story short, the next time I was there, uh, I, I stopped it. I actually was going through there again, and I found that they had a big sign up that said their office was across the road. So then once I found that out, it was easy from there. But I went over there to the office, talked to some guys. They showed me where to go to, uh, and but I had to load my own. So, with all that being said, it was it was definitely a little tougher to go through the coal terminal because they're, it's definitely a bigger operation and really something that's kind of um, 
you know, you just kind of have to find your office and all that stuff. More than likely, you, the office wouldn't be down where the, the main coal trucks and stuff go. At least in my case, it wasn't. And it was across the road to a separate area that was easy to get to. So your, you know, regular traffic wouldn't have to go down in there and be in with all the coal trucks and stuff. So anyways, but let me show you some differences of what you get gravel yard versus coal terminal. And then I'll kind of tell you some differences about the coal a little bit too so uh let me let me show you what what the differences are so here is our coal pile which a lot of it's gone i probably used half of it already but um from the gravel yard they just take a big loader and come in and load your coal up they they scoop it up and they toss it in the back of your truck and then send you on your way you get a lot of this stuff these big pieces like this uh you do get some of that stuff and but you get a lot of chunks this size. You get a lot of stuff this size. And right on down. And they're scooping this off the bottom. So you just you just get whatever. And then you also get all this kind of stuff. And this kind of stuff is way too little to burn in my stove. Like it, it'll just fall through the grates in the bottom of the stove. So you're paying for this by weight. And all this right here costs money that you can't use. So keep that in mind, uh, you know, when you're, when you're going somewhere like a gravel yard because they're taking that machine, scooping this stuff up, and you're paying for this stuff by weight. And a lot of that is unusable. You, you can't, or at least I can in my stove. Maybe there's stoves that you can, but my stove, you can't. And like I say, though, you get chunks mi mixed in there but at the uh, coal terminal I went and loaded myself and you just pick up the chunks and you throw them in the back of your truck and that's what you get and you don't have all that fine powder and dust and stuff that you're having to pay all that extra money for in weight you get exactly what you can use because your chunks of coal are all big usable pieces and you don't have to worry about um you know all the little scraps and extra weight from stuff that you can't use so everything that you get would be a burnable piece of coal and if you get a ton of all burnable stuff versus a ton of some burnable some that's going to be wasted because it's going to fall through the grates on the stove you get more bang for the buck and now you might still be able to um at the like the gravel yard the guy asked me if i wanted to load it myself or if i wanted him to load it so that's that's my fault so if you're in a hurry then the uh the gravel yard could be the way to go but if you're if you're not really in a hurry then you know and you got some time on your hands i mean because it takes probably an hour and a half or so or an hour hour and a half by yourself anyways to go load up a truck by hand with these chunks of coal and, and get a ton or so so it, it takes more time to do that and if you're in a hurry then you can drive up to the gravel yard and and they'll just you know pop it in your truck you can be on your way it's a quick turnaround you're back but you also pay for it because at the gravel yard theirs is 125 dollars a ton here in my area and the coal terminal was 60 dollars so big difference but again speed versus you know i mean you can get it loaded up and be quickly out of there and all that kind of stuff so uh, if you was in a big hurry one day and you really needed to get it fast then that'd be a you know go in there get it quick you're out you're on your way but if you got the extra time it could save you some money if you know where there's a, a terminal where you could actually go and and get it from them so let me also show you a few differences in the coal and kind of what to look for when you're trying to uh to get coal because so there's several different types of coal and most of this coal in here is called bituminous coal and for the for the most part that's that's what you're going to find 
other than maybe sub bituminous but you know bituminous is the most commonly used for like uh, coal burners and that kind of stuff and with coal there, there's four different ones but your your top coal is anthracite which is like it only makes up like one percent of the coal all the coal that is mined anthracite is only like one percent but it's it's the hardest and most uh, purest form I guess of coal it's the cleanest burning and it's um, I guess has the most energy or whatever per ton or whatever but anyways it's really easy to determine that coal because it looks like a black piece of glass and it's it's sort of like this is not anthracite but it's sort of like this uh, but it's the whole thing would look like this shiny part of the coal right here like the the whole piece would look like a shiny piece of glass um, I don't think that there's any anthracite in here if there is there might just be a, a piece like just kind of stuck in here somewhere but for the most part this stuff is bituminous coal and bituminous is the next step below anthracite and anthracite being the hardest bituminous is the next step below that so um this is a hard coal definitely not a soft coal and i i feel that the harder it is the better it burns the softer it is the dirtier and sootier that it burns so if you go all the way down to the bottom to uh, what they call lignite coal it's actually referred to as brown coal also because the coal itself kind of has a brown tint to it that is not typically a real good coal to burn to heat with and actually this piece right here is kind of down to that it's kind of got a brown tint to it but it's right on the edge it's not the whole thing it's actually got um, the layers and some shininess to it but it's right on the edge of being you know the uh, the brown so but the shinier the better with coal so when you're trying to get this stuff and you can pick it out by hand from the coal terminal you can pick these shiny pieces out when they just scoop it up with a machine you don't get to do that so let me show you these bigger pieces that you can really see the layers and stuff in these pieces uh, it's almost like sandstone sort of and that's what makes your uh, your bituminous coal these layers and then it's shiny in here too so now I am not a professional on this stuff this is just stuff that I've kind of researched and tried to find out while I was buying coal and to the best of my knowledge what I'm uh, explain that's that's the way I understand all this stuff anyway so hopefully uh, you know this will kind of help out help other people but I may not be a hundred percent accurate with this if I say well this is bituminous versus sub bituminous but I'm pretty sure it's bituminous because of the layers and the shininess and that's just kind of what I've collected and like this piece is pretty it's pretty shiny but you can see the layers in it so you know it's not like anthracite this whole thing would be like a solid looking kind of piece of glass just shiny glass but you know you still may get some dull spots and stuff in there but you're going to have all this shiny stuff kind of mixed in and that's that's what you want though but the more you can find that's shiny like this piece here is a great big piece and it's got a lot of shine to it or you've got like this piece has got a lot of shine to it but the layers are really noticeable in this one so again like i say that kind of that tells me that that's bituminous coal and again not a professional but that's just what i've what i've tried to research and what i've come across so so that's pretty much my experience with it i i hope this video helps somebody out i know whenever i was going into it i was going kind of blind but Again, I'm no expert on, on coal or anything like that. Don't claim to be, but this is just kind of my experience and, and what I've learned, uh, you know, for myself over the last couple months with, with trying to buy coal. So like I say, I hope this helps somebody out. 
Uh, if you know anybody that's looking to buy coal, make sure you share this video with them. Uh, click the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.